You will need elastic trim, clips, felt of your color choice, scissors, and a hot glue gun. You will also need some fabric. This could be scraps or just um, a bundle of fat quarters. Trace out and cut a circle onto paper and this is going to be your pattern for your petals. I use the size of a drinking glass but this can be any size you want. You can make it big or you can make it small. So yeah, just trace that out onto paper. After that, fold your fabric in half and fold it another time. So you'll be folding it in twice. Place your circle Actually fold that as well and then place it on the fold of the fabric. Then cut out around your uh, circle pattern. And the reason I did this was because I wanna cut out uh, more circles. You can simply just trace out your circle on fabric and cut one at a time. But as you can see here, I managed to cut two. Now if I was using a uh, rotary cutter, I could have cut several so you want to have about nine or ten petals and then you will measure out your felt about one inch by one inch um, square so not too big um, depending on the size that you cut out for your petals you can make it small you can make it bigger but um, I'm going by about one inch so cut two of those and you will measure out your elastic trim. I had mine at 17 inches, and this should fit a three-year-old to a 10-year-old's um, head. So once you have your pieces, you have your petals, you have your elastic trim, you have your felt, you're ready to start gluing. So here we go. Get one petal and fold it twice then you will attach that to one of your cutout felts and you will put that at the corner like you can see. So we're going to have our felt in four sections. So place your folded petal on one section, place the next one on the next section, and continue with the last two sections. So you're going to have four petals, four folded petals on um, one cut out felt. So you're done with the first layer. We're going to continue to the second layer and we will glue. So each petal is being separated by lines. So that is where you place the next set of petals. So place some glue just on the line and you will add the next petal there. And again, we're working in four sections. So you will have four um, folded petals uh, glued on to the previous set of petals that you had put onto the felt. And you're going to carry on doing that until you have your last, I think it's your last two um, petals. So once you do that, again, just um, glue them to where the lines are separating each petal. And then once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and kind of lift um, lift the flower. Well, it's kind of gonna do that on its own, but just kind of puff it out and lift it out um, just to give it shape. And then you will add some glue to the center and connect those last two petals together so that they, they remain standing. And if you see any gaps uh, just within the flower, you can go ahead and add a little bit of glue and just um, so that it, it sticks everything together. Next, you will glue the ends of your um, elastic trim so that you have one continuous band. I'm just making sure that it's nice and sturdy and it's not gonna come out and usually won't come out because the glue really does a good job of putting it together. So now you will decide where you want your flower to go. I will place mine like to the side. You want your attachment to be at the back of the head and so I'll place the flower to the side. So go ahead and glue where you want your flower to be. So glue the felt um, bottom and attach that to the band. Then once you're done that, you're pretty much done.
So you can go ahead and practice um, another one or making another one, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But this time we will be placing the flower on the pin. So I'll just let you go ahead and watch um, the process uh, for my next flower then towards the end um, it's the exact same it's the exact same process you are just going to be pinning the flower to a pin and not rather a clip and not the um, headband So same process for um, the clip. You want to glue the felt uh, right onto your clip. And this is very easy, there's nothing to it. Just make sure that once you glue your clip, open it so that it doesn't glue shut. So open it so that the glue can dry and it doesn't um, glue shut. And that is pretty much it. So you can make these, like I said, you can make these really big, you can make these really small. Um, you could make these as headbands, you could make these as hair clips, or you could make them as lapel um, flowers. So I hope you have fun making these and show me pictures if you do happen to, um, to make them. So these are just examples of how I, um, or how you can wear um, these flowers. So um, thank you for joining me with this video. And um, if you have any more questions, you can leave those in the comments. Please share and don't forget to subscribe.